Kia ora everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to our channel. As you can see, I've already got a situation on my eyeballs and isn't it beautiful? I'm just in the middle of filming this eye look. I thought it'd be a good idea to split that video in half and do the eye look in one video and my foundation routine in the next video. So I'm trying this out, seeing how it goes. I might just end up editing it together and just having it as one video, but we'll just see. So if you didn't gather from that rant that I just... In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my foundation routine. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. But before you do so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell down below so you can keep updated with all of our new content. Let's get into it. I have already moisturized my skin and I done that TikTok hack where you use face moisturizer and I've used the Rose Hip Asano facial moisturizer. Also mixed in the Maybelline Face Studio Prime and then setting it down with a loose powder and I use the Airspun and then setting that down with a setting spray and I use the MAC Fix Plus. I did this little hack thing in my green halo smoky eye makeup look thingy and I really liked it so I've gone ahead and done that again. I have combination to oily skin where I get quite an oily t-zone, actually I'd call it an eye zone because I get quite oily over here as well, but I get quite oily and I have quite a few pores that are quite prominent in my skin so I like to use a pore minimizing sort of primer when I'm doing a full, fla full face full face of makeup now I toss up between these three I love the pore minimizer and I've been using this for years it is amazing I received the Embachi pore minimizer in my February Bella box and I've used this a few times and I absolutely love it like I've said in many videos, it's very different to all of the other pore minimizers that I've tried. Because I've used that in the last couple of videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. And I haven't used it before, so. This is super duper thick, so I wonder what it's like. I'm just going to press it in. It's really, really thick, and I can already see that it's got a little bit of a white cast oh my gosh I feel like I've really got to massage it in I feel like it's gone and disrupted all of that base that I did I'm just gonna go over with my beauty blender just to really get that in there okay that's the pore minimizer I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that was it supposed to be like a first impressions but so if I'm doing a full glam, then I'll go ahead and add a foundation. Quite often I will only use concealer. I just feel like it's an extra layer that I don't really need. I don't have very problem. Prob I can't think of the word. I don't have the acne and things like that. So I find that concealer's enough coverage for me. But just for the video and for the super glam eye look, I am going to go in with a full glam, full base. So I absolutely love the Revlon Fast Base Stick Foundations. I'm going to go in with the shades F14, F8 and F12. Firstly in with F14 and I just add in like little dots all around the contours of my face. I'm going to take the highlight, I'm only using a tiny bit of this because it's quite white. On the top of my nose, my chin in the middle of my forehead and then I'm gonna go everywhere else with F12 which is like my shade that really highlighted one was quite unnecessary I didn't actually need to do that I was just being super duper extra and then I like to take a kabuki brush and blend out the darker foundation first and when I'm blending it out, I like to try and keep the colour as contained as possible in the area that I have applied it. And I kind of like to use buffing and like padding motions to do this. Trying to eliminate the double chin. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't forget to go down the neck and up into the ears as well when you're using foundation. 
Alrighty then, I'm just going to take another Kabuki brush and blend out the highlight shades. Now a little tip, if you're wanting more coverage, you want to dab, when you buff in circular motions like that, it's going to pick up more product. So if you're wanting more coverage, then dabbing is the way to go. That was embarrassing. I'm going to edit that out. I just like to go back with both the Kabuki brushes and just blend those two colours together. Just so everything blends seamlessly. Because I don't like a whole lot of foundation on my skin, I know that I've just put it all there. I like to go in with a beauty blender just to pick up any excess. And to also further blend those three colours together. Next up is concealer. When I'm only wearing concealer, I usually go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium Tan. It's a bit of a darker shade, so it's the same colour as my face. So I'm going to mix in the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 28, which is just a tad bit lighter. I'm only going to use a little bit of this just for the coverage. Mm. Can't stop myself, it's just so good. And then I'm going to use the majority of this lighter shade. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just blend that in. What I also like to do when I'm blending out my concealer is go back in with the Kabuki brush that I use to blend my contour and just blend the concealer into the contour again. Blend, blend, blend. It's like the most important thing in makeup. Next step, I'm going to take the Airspun Loose Face Powder on a dry beauty blender and I'm going to bake my face. Now baking is so important, just for the longevity of your makeup, it helps everything last a whole lot longer. For your under eyes, it helps things not to crease. Wow, was that really poor English or what? And because I've got really oily skin, it just helps to contain those oils for a little bit longer. I don't usually bake all of my face. I usually just do under my eyes, my nose, my forehead and just cleaning up the contour. Then while that's baking for a little bit, I like to go in with a face powder. And today I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Face Powder in the shade 235. I'm going to take that on a big fluffy brush. Now I like to use a face powder because one, it gives extra coverage. I find that if I use the airspun powder or any loose translucent powder to set my face, it can leave a white cast, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I like to go in with a coloured face powder for that reason. I'm just going to go ahead and dust away that under eye baking and set the highlighting points of my face with the NYX Contour Palette. Highlight and contour, sorry. And I like to take the banana shade, just really any tapered brush like this, and then just dust that away. I'm also going to go in with this palette to contour, and I've really been digging this shade here. And I just contour in the areas that I contoured with the foundation. Next up, I'm going to blend that contour out with a bronzer, and today I'm going to be using the Lorac Take Me to Tantago palette. This has got a bunch of beautiful bronzers in it, and I just mix my brush all up in there. Just blend it out. Next up, we're going to add some blush, and... I am going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Six on Fire, or what I like to call her nipple blushes. When applying blush, I will seriously put blush everywhere, but I like to start at the apples of my cheek, bringing it up. I also like lots of blush, so I bring that up and then I sweep it across to my nose. I really like to give that sunburnt look and I also bring it up onto my forehead a little bit on my chin I just put it everywhere guys 
Now one of the most crucial steps when you're doing a full cake face like this is a good setting spray. I love the MAC Fix Plus because it just settles all the powders into your skin. So I will dust myself in this MAC Fix Plus. I like to let that dry a little bit, but not fully dry because I like my face to be a little bit wet when I add my highlight, just to keep it real popping. Did I really say that? So I'm going to go in with the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I love this palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade here. This is the shade I usually use to highlight, but this one up here has got kind of like purpley hue to it. So I might use a little bit of that just to bring it together with the eye look. I just like to go in with the blush brush just to blend those two together so it doesn't just look like there's a weird streak of highlight on my cheek. Then I'll take a little pencil brush just to highlight my nose and cupid's bow with those colours. I like to keep this highlight really precise. I'm going to go ahead and set that down again. This time I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. And then what I like to do is I like to take the Beauty Blender and just press that into the skin. And that guys is the base. Ta -da! So like I said I went ahead and finished off my eyes and added a lippy. I love the way that my skin looks. I love how everything has worked out. I think that that pore minimizer that I tried out at the start did really well even though at the start I was a little bit weary on it. But it looks really good. I love all the products that I've used um, and I think that we created an awesome base today. I hope you guys learned something today or that you enjoyed watching my foundation routine and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell down below so you can keep updated with all of our new content. I'm going to be working on trying to get out some more routines, tutorial type videos for you guys while I'm in lockdown and so look forward to seeing some of those. I hope you guys have a blessed day or night or whatever time of day it is for you at the moment and we'll see you in our next video. Stay blessed whanau. Ka kite.